Welcome to Knock Pro Nation. Welcome back guys, Jarrell here. And I'm Josh, and today we're here to give another review. Why? Well, because I didn't get to give my review. I was on vacation. Jarrell gave a review of episode two of Walking Dead. And you know what? I just need to talk about it. Yeah, guys, so this is just an open discussion. Josh is back. Uh, he watched the episode, he got back uh, about midday, late on Monday, and yeah. I knew that he was going to be checking it out. So uh, we just kind of want to have an open discussion and get more thoughts from Josh of what he felt and kind of some things that I forgot to talk about as well from the episode. So well, overall, what do you think, man? Oh, dude, it was amazing. <laughs> it was amazing. Um, I was so, like, I told you guys this in, I think, the predictions and the review of the last episode that this was the one that I was looking forward to the mm -hmm. most. I mm -hmm. think in the whole half season, just from the synopsis, Oh, I was yeah. looking forward to this the most. Yeah. I mean, to get a backstory on characters that we really didn't get much of a backstory in we the got, comic. We got none in the comic. There were none. Very little for Beta. Well, for Beta, that's for knowing his identity, so to speak. At the end of his arc. At the arc, end, but right? nothing with Alpha and mm -hmm. nothing like how they met and how they kind of... Exactly. Starts, we knew how we knew they started it. Exactly. You know? Like, yeah. and, and was it just you or like... As I'm watching the episode and as I'm watching Beta and Alpha in that hospital, I'm like reading all of like, I call it the Joker writing because it was just a bunch of crazy writing and on the oh, walls. Oh, from, from, from Beta? I, was it from Beta? It was everywhere. It yeah. wasn't just in his little room. Oh, I was thinking just in the room because it said, he said, I am the end of the world. That was like well, repeated. Because get this. Yeah. At one point in the episode, Lydia goes to, uh, turns to her mother and says, why are the rooms padded? It yeah. was a mental institute. It was, yeah. It was an addiction. It was an addiction place. Rehab. But it was a rehab type. place, but also probably a, a mental institution because it's a padded room. So if you're probably addicted, you know, if you're going through withdrawals, you don't want people smashing their heads everywhere. Yeah. So like, put them in a padded room. So, so yeah. I mean, was all that right a beta? All that writing beta because it was everywhere. Yeah, I know what you're saying. I think. Uh, I think probably some of it, the, you know, all this, I was trying to read it. I'll have to go back so and was I. That's what I, then that, that was my question. Yeah. Were you trying to read it? Because at some point I'm like, it says I am, does it say I am Negan? Like, <laughs> right. Once I saw the end of the world because he kept repeating yeah. I am the end, it was like, okay, I, I'm, I'm sure he was probably writing that. Other stuff could be, but it could have been others that were in that institution as well. Yeah. You know, he's probably writing over top of it. Yeah. So uh, did you like how they kind of showed where going from, uh, flashbacks to present day yeah. how in the flashbacks it was alpha who was basically you know saving beta and then in the in the present time it was beta saving alpha yeah. because they were both dealing with something specific and kind of almost a breaking point and it was the two of them saving each other yeah i loved that aspect the hand moment like with you, beta? you see that mm -hmm. in both the back flash mm -hmm. and the present time mm -hmm. and it's just like Tying that in together, that moment that they had, it was of mutual respect. Yes. It was of, um, we're watching this world burn, so yeah. why not do it together um, type deal. Yeah. Because in the present time, I mean, we knew that, you know, Alpha lied to Beta. You know, she, she lied to the pack and to Beta about killing Lydia. Yeah. Now, that made Beta very upset. And the one thing I loved was how Beta got upset with Alpha, and he was like, she's not coming back, Alpha. About Lydia. About Lydia. Mm -hmm. And with him putting his hand out, you know, he I love how he says, why did you, it wasn't, why did you lie to the pack? Why did you lie to me? Yeah, it was more of me. It, him, him putting his hand out there was more of him. Forgiving her. Forgiving, yeah. It, yes. More of like, accept my hand of forgiveness. Yes. Because yep. you did that for me, which we see in a scene. Mm -hmm. And, that just gave me freaking goosebumps, ladies and gentlemen. Right. I loved that aspect of the show and how they tied that in. Yeah. Amazing writing. Yeah. It, it was amazing. I th The way that they put it together, the, the seamless flashbacks of going back and forth, like especially when Alpha was going through her rage of, you know, saying that, you know, Lydia was never like me. And she kind of, it was kind of hard to hear because she says, well, she was dead to me the day she was born because she was never like me. And even in the flashback, it was brutal to she, hear, dude. She, in the flashback, she was she she got excited when Lydia was like, "I want to yeah, be like you, ecstatic. Mama." Static. She she for once she didn't have to fear like have fear of I'm gonna leave this girl. But eventually. she did say it though. She, she was like, absolutely. She did was like, she's like, I want you to be, I want you to be strong, but because I'm gonna leave. If I, you I, don't, I'm gonna have to leave you. <laughs> you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave your ass. But it's just, but. 
And did you notice in the beginning, right at the, the beginning when the woman was getting eaten, that Alpha played the part? You saw her going... Ah, she was, I did not see that. She, so Alpha was making noise. Like she was making noise like she was getting excited, like she was going to eat the woman. She's like, she was going like... But ah, was that... It was so cool. Uh, understand that, yes, Alpha is few fries short of a Happy Meal. Right. Um, but was that also because, look, they had 20 to 50 other walkers around Oh, it was them. because of that, yeah. They needed to act the part. Right. But um, blood and guts trick. Absolutely. It wasn't just blood. It was but blood I do want to I do want to also mention that 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 jarring moment of Alpha as the uh, sisters getting eaten. Um mm. yeah. Beta at the cage making sounds to lure the walker. Oh, up. that was amazing. <laughs> it, was really, it was like almost a growl slash bark. That that was one of the things I've wanted to see is you know how do the walkers do their do their hurting or I'm sorry how do the whispers do their hurting and we got to see that yeah. we got to see how Beta communicates using his hands whatever it means they know what it means and yeah. these sisters you know Gamma and her sister apparently were good at rounding up walkers but I love that where he's like ah ah walking through and then he slowly walks through and then opens the door like. The walkers don't know. They just think it's another walker going, Ugh, but making louder noise to yeah. bring the herd them in. It was I awesome. love that aspect I, of it. Yeah, that, that was great. I really enjoyed that. Um, <laughs> I thought it was hilarious, the, the the scene of the sister, like, looking up at the sun, just gauging in, like, the sun and how, like, it yeah. really bought, brought back a human element of it. And mm -hmm. to tie that in with the baby... That was, you know, when I first saw, I recognized the mask and I was like, because when I did the predictions, I know I mentioned in my, in the predictions of the video, I was like, I wonder if that's um, a flash. I thought at first it was maybe a flashback of, uh, of Lydia because she was kind of shorter. You know, when they had a picture of her up against Beta, she was really short. So I was like, is that like an, a younger picture of, of uh, Lydia? Like when they first started? And then mm. I was like, I kind of recognize her mask for some reason. And then when they showed the flashback, I was like, oh. Amazing. Yeah, it was awesome. Tying that in was here cool. you have a mother yeah. who w is reminiscing on her child that she doesn't have anymore. Grieving. Yeah. Uh, grieving. And then you cut back to a flashback of a mother who was slowly losing her child mm -hmm. or, or, or in fear of losing her child yeah. who now also has lost her child. But did, did you also pick up that the sister leaving her baby was uh, was by design it was forced by alpha oh absolutely because alpha had that bag and was like bring him so she told the sister to bring the baby for when they went to the hilltop and i think that was by alpha's design she was gonna whatever her plan was it was gonna work i don't know why but yeah i mean look weird. I mean, she wanted to show maybe she foreshadowed losing lydia i mean lydia was already captured or gone at that point right yeah. but maybe yeah. she knew or had some kind of inkling that, that Lydia wasn't coming back. I think she wanted to use the baby to kind of show our survivors that, hey, Dude, I will never forget that look of her going, mm -hmm. <laughs> leave it. <laughs> yeah, it was really good. Um, but yeah, um, what else was there? Uh, just the well, scene between them. So so there is one thing that we will not go over in in my thoughts here guys because we are actually doing a separate video and that is the reveal of Beta and the unmasking of Beta when Alpha sees him and they have their moment and she pulls up his mask. Mm -hmm. We don't want to get into that because we're doing a whole video on that. So yeah. stay tuned for that. That's going to be an amazing video. We have some awesome ideas for that. Yeah. And some information that was revealed. So um, it's going to be great. Yeah. So yeah, so we're, we don't um, want to go into that. Right. But the, the amazing reveal of Beta's mask and the t-shirt. Oh, yes. Yes. His, his, Sorry. Be, his best friend. Yeah. His best friend. So Lydia sneaks out in the middle of the night, right? Um, wanting to impress her mother, mm -hmm. um, which is awesome. I love how they did that. But she she gets in trouble. Alpha goes looking for her. Alpha kills the walker in the closet. Mm -hmm. Very uh, uh, governor signs were going off in my in yeah. my mind, right? Because yep. uh, Beta freaks out over this. Yeah. And what do you know? The T-shirt is the same one that he's wearing in the present day. Um, so, yeah, that was what we believe is his best friend. Yeah, at first I thought I was, because uh, I was also, they had a, the, another Walking Dead group uh, does a live kind of uh, live stream or whatever of it, and they commenting on Facebook. And at first I thought maybe it was his brother, but then other people were saying, oh, it's his best friend. So 
I'm not sure. I don't. I'm not sure how we knew it was his best friend, but I think maybe it came out on Talking so, Dead or something. I'm not so sure. So there was an article that Brian Hurst did. That, Brian that, Hurst. That, Ryan Hurst, yeah. sorry. <laughs> um, that revealed, yes, it, it was, was it was the best, best friend. friend. Yeah. yeah. So it was yeah. great. I mean, you know, it, it's just, once I saw that happy t-shirt, I was like, okay, well. And the picture that was the faces crossed, I was like, well, the guy on the right is Beta. The guy on the left is either brother or best friend. Um, but just the how he has the but, mask of his of his best friend. His, yeah, his, his, <laughs> because Alpha's like you, he because Beta says I don't want to leave him. Alpha says you won't have to, and <laughs> that was freaking awesome. Yeah. So he's literally wearing his best friend's face. Yeah. Uh, and T-shirt. Yeah. Um, we will go into another video on what we think that best friend has to do and the relevance of Beta and his mask. Mm -hmm. Um, in the other video, that more to come. Um, but overall, amazing. Yeah. So did you like the, uh, it wasn't said out loud, but we knew when they were talking about their letters, calling him B, and then she says, what are you? Or he says, what are you? She's like, A, you know? I wish we would have gotten the scene of the beta alpha reveal. Right. Like, beta's like probably thinking, okay, B. Right. So, I mean, we, you know, a lot of people are saying, yes, this is similar to like a cult, because like we got, you know, the, the anointment of Gamma after she saved Alpha, she gave her that label of gamma which yep. is the third you know all these are the letters yeah. of the greek alphabet but also person kind of personality type traits so gamma is third so yes you know when she starts it when she starts gathering more she said you know when does she say i am the alpha this is beta you know what i mean yeah like, i mean you it'd could be cool see, to see that i mean you guys heard they whispered this is gamma this is gamma over and over again yeah um i suspect that at one point it was alpha and beta they knew that she was alpha he knew that he was beta and as they gathered more whispers it was just a, it was it was told this is your alpha this is beta that's what i want to see that's how did they gather whispers that's what i want to see how <laughs> That, that's that's truly what I want to see. You come so. across people, and how do you get them on that mentality? Because, but we won't get into that. Because, that's look, crazy. they're not doing it now. They're not, not now. recruiting anyone right now. No. Nope. And they're, they're, they're not, they don't seem to be friendly they've enough to lost take people. in. Yeah, they've lost people. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, it... It was just an amazing episode. I mean, just to get the backstory once again. And, and how they tied it everything. into the satellite and yep. her walking out. And those were the walker, Those were the walkers that probably attacked our group. Those yep. were them because they followed the sound. Yeah. yeah that, that, was was, that was awesome. <laughs> so it was, it was cool because right at the end where Alpha is walking through and she takes her mask off, right? And she, she has this look. And we know that that seems to be the point in time where she walked out of the woods to the area where the horde is, and then she sees um, Carol. Carol, yeah. But it also made me think, like, do you think she saw her through the woods and she just walked out like that to make it seem like she was just out there for a morning sunshine? You know what so, I mean? So keep in mind, I, I think that it was revealed shortly after they were out, went out that they broke the border. Well, yeah, Beta says there's smoke by the border, and that was from the satellite and probably the smoke from them putting out the fire. So she's like, oh, they crossed the border. Yeah, and, the, yeah, and yeah. so so she knows that they're crossing the border, right. but I'm with you. I don't think she knew Carol was up there. That, I think I, she came out. I don't and know. She looked up and said, this bitch it's, is it's, in my territory. It seems like it, though, but it also seemed like, because when she took her mask off and she's looking, she has this look on her face like, is somebody out there, right? Well, she, it, it also is the same exact place that she brought Daryl to. Yeah. So, but I don't know. I, 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 I am with you. Like, she, it did seem like she came out. It was a new morning, a new day. Oh, the sunlight. Who is this bitch up here? <laughs> my, like, my whole, my whole. Uh, <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> but it was interesting, though. One thing I didn't mention, I think, in uh, my review was, you know, for one, where's the horde? Because they're trying to gather more guardians. Why? Well, he he did mention when are we bringing them back, didn't he? Didn't Beta ask her when are yeah. we going to so bring them back? Yeah, so it's like I'm sure so they, they moved them somewhere they, else. They but, moved it, but how far can you move a massive horde like that? Like, but I'm wondering. Yeah, I'm wondering if they're gathering other guardians so then they can just move normally. You know, I I think that and then, was the case. And then Alpha they mentioned something to, to to move probably to attract the horde and get them moving. Yeah, I'm guessing. Because then, um, cause then Alpha's saying, you know, after she mentions about the border, she's like, we're going back. Like, going back where? Like, you're already in the area. 
You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. Maybe she's going back to fight. Maybe, well, maybe, maybe she's referencing the communities. We're going back We're to going the communities. Back to the news, yeah. Um, and, uh, you know, how awesome is that? One thing I also didn't pick up on, I think I mentioned to you was, um, Oh, I just lost it. I like the. I was going to say I was. I like the mention of the reference of the pack. Like we got that yeah. mentions that that reference several oh, times, and I love. I that. got it. Um, <laughs> so there could it, we could be seeing maybe some mutiny going on. So in the episode, yeah. Beta mentioned how the other two. She was he was talking about the sisters where they're stirring up conversation between other whisperers. The whisperers are talking about the enemy, the life that they saw. So these are the whisperers that have seen the hilltop. They've seen Alexandria. They see that they have livestock, they have food. And this is concerning Beta because there could be mutiny on their hands. You know, these, these whisperers may want to change ideals. But in the words of Alpha, let them. Yeah. Because She's like, in her opinion- It's not a life. If, in her opinion, let me find out who's not, who's not with me. Because yeah. whoever's not with me is going to die. She'll be killed. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah, dude, I, there definitely is mutiny there. That that one woman that came up to, I forgot her sister's name. I don't think they ever said it. Just Gamma's sister. Gamma's sister, yeah. Came up to Gamma's sister and was like, yes, did you see them? She walked off. Well, Gamma pulled her away. Yeah. Well, no, I'm talking about the girl that approached her, agreeing with her that, yes, they had their communities out there. They have oh, livestock. Yeah, yeah. She walked away. So there's still that feeling of a better life mm -hmm. in yeah. some of these whispers. So, it's still there. Um, yeah. But I think it would take a lot for them to double oh, cross absolutely. Alpha and get absolutely. out. Absolutely. At this point, you would have to just abandon the, the pack. You would have to just sneak out somehow. And hopefully they'd never find you. But according to Alpha, they're everywhere. <laughs> they're always watching they are always watching yeah. and so are we yeah so i mean amazing episode you know i was glad that josh was able to kind of give his discussion on it uh because i wanted to hear what he thought and uh i'm sure that he probably had some oh shit moments uh in that episode there were the multiple oh shit moments yeah, like holy god <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah go check out daily dead's uh, reaction he did a reaction to it and uh he kind of did the same thing at the part of finding out beta's you know the t-shirt the mask it was kind of like wait what <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing yeah man. i wish we would have given a live reaction to that because it was a special episode it's just unfortunately the chips didn't fall that way but uh it would have been another, it would have been another hell of an editing time because i don't know what amc or posting is, time i don't right? know what amc is doing but it seems like they're cracking down on a lot of people which posting, is crazy you know? because it, it truly is the show has gotten so much better yeah. And in my opinion, it never got bad. Sorry, it never got bad. The flagship series never got bad. I'll, I'll fully admit to you that Fear has gotten bad. Yeah. Um, but it's gotten way better than than good, right? So, yeah. so don't don't mind those art. Don't listen to those articles of how they've said that they had bad rating numbers in the premiere. Guess what, guys? AMC has AMC Premiere, which allows you to watch it 48 hours in advance. There's DVR. They allowed people to watch the premiere, like us, because they had rewards so we can record it, a week early. There's probably not a lot of people no, coming back to watch it live. That so was on rewards. It's ridiculous. And, and, and you know. so to watch the episode a week early, usually they only do 48 hours, a week early cost 1,500 points. Uh, it's very easy to get 1,500 points on the Walking Dead rewards. Check yeah. it out. You could get that, I think, by signing up and going through all of the content on there, all of the activities now on there will get you, I believe, close to 1,500 points. So, guys, I think a lot of the population saw the episode before it even actually premiered. Yeah. The more the more AMC continues with watching it early with DVR, the live numbers on any shows are going to be low. It's going to be low, regardless. So, yeah. um, you know, they're still going strong. They wouldn't have renewed it for an 11th season if it was... It wouldn't be in 10 seasons right now if it wasn't good. Yeah. If it wasn't making them money. Yeah. So... Oh. By, by far. Yeah. Either way. So let us know your thoughts again in the comments of the episode. Anything we have missed, anything we didn't think about, because there's a lot of you out there that have some great ideas and things that we didn't even think about. So now, absolutely, guys. Let us know what you think of the episode and the episodes coming up. I think that's it, guys. If you're that's new to the now. channel, please hit the bell notifications. You're always notified. Subscribe to the channel. Follow us at Knockboard Nation on Facebook and Twitter. I'm Josh. I'm Jarrell. We're Knockboard Nation. We're, We're out. out.